Hey Collective, today we're going to do an energy check-in to see if we can get some messages to my returning subscribers. Welcome back and to anybody who's new here, thank you for joining us today. I just want to say I appreciate all of your likes, your subscribes, your comments, and everything that you share with me on the channel. If a reading doesn't resonate, please don't try to force it to fit. Please feel free to take the roles and reverse them as needed. And if anything is upsetting or it doesn't feel like it goes in your story, please feel free to leave those messages for somebody else or you can always come back and watch a message later. So... The first card out is the Four of Wands, followed by the Ancestors card, along with Strength and the Two of Wands. So you have um, guides around you at this time. This could be in your home. There could be something where somebody's looking in on you in your home. This could be because you've been uh, having to use a lot of emotional strength whenever it comes to some kind of a conflict that you've been moving on from. Um, you need to know that your ancestors are with you at this time. There's something about you being able to draw strength from them or from a support system that you have. The Seven of Pentacles is out here in the verse, so there could be something... Regarding children or something here to do with um, some kind of bad memories from the past. There's some heavy focus on you becoming independent of whatever this is. This goes from the nine to the ten of pentacles. So there's something here either with family or something that's manifesting here in the 3D. The empress is also out here. So there's something that is coming to fruition for you or there's some uh, material wealth that you're going to be earning here. This could be after a long period of time where you, yeah, and then I've got it out here again. So here's the five of wands. I was seeing the two of wands and the three of wands together and that's what made me think there's something, something here with the conflict. This could be inner and outer conflict. But it's like you're looking to the future or you're looking towards um, the next step that you want to take. And this could be something that you've been waiting for for a very long time. Um, it looks like the wait is over. Some of you may be deciding to move. There's something here that you're no longer juggling whenever it comes to your love, self-respect, um, something to do with your own healing or... Um, something around a decision whenever it comes to some kind of conflict. So why is this out here? There's something here about your destiny or you need to know that you're moving in the correct direction at this time. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or have that sign somewhere in your chart. Um, it looks like all of this shift is happening at one time where there could be a lot of um, commotion or there's something about a lot of competition or some kind of conflict in your energy. And it's like this is happening because it's supposed to be happening. There's some kind of uh, energy shift here. And you may be having a hard time with the shift of this energy, but you're showing up here like somebody who's strong enough to go through these changes because of the support system that you have and because of your own personal emotional strength. It's like your your inner willpower is what's looking forward to paths that are opening up. And it's like you know you can get there. You just have to continue to move. There could be children involved in whatever this is talking about. There could be some good news coming towards you. Somebody may also want to apologize, but there's um, some energy here of some kind of news coming in. There's a King of Wands in the reverse out here. This fell on top of the Six of Cups in the reverse. So the bad memories or some, whatever it is that's in the past, it looks like that you're moving away from has to do with somebody who was abusive or somebody who abused power or abused some kind of leadership position that they were in. There's something here about your ancestors, like, fighting for you or fighting next to you. 
there's something here about them doing something to protect you. They could also be doing something to protect children of yours, for those of you who have children. For others of you, there's something about you're going to see proof of whatever this is. So this could be karma. This could be something that um, shows up in the 3D. There's somebody in your energy that's like, um, let me see who this is. Someone could be angry about a judgment or a decision or something that has been put into place whenever it comes to some kind of a contract or a marriage. There's somebody very aggressive around you. Your ancestors are looking at whoever this person is. This could be an ex of yours. The lovers just came out here in the reverse. Or this could be a misaligned partnership. So there could be something that you're no longer in alignment with um, th that this is highlighting. You need to know that that was a proper move, that there's something here about um, your decision to move on from this was the correct decision. Because whoever this is has been too much of a burden to you. There's something about uh, something being too heavy to carry because someone was not being introspective or listening to inner guidance. Um, and so it was creating more hardship or more turmoil in the connection than what needed to happen. There's something here about people around you viewing this. And for a lot of you, what I'm getting is there's some, you have a passed on loved one that's around you that is very disappointed about the way that this person has treated you. There could be something that they're doing in the spirit. Um, there's also a queen of swords out here in the reverse. So there could be a feminine energy around you or this person. This person could be somebody who's lying or they're doing something where they're using communication to misrepresents a narrative the emperors out here also so there's a lot of very aggressive abusive energy and there's something here talking about someone reaping what they have sown this is giving me karma and it's like you need to be told at this time that even if you can't see what this person is going through, there's something about your ancestors having a hand in whatever this is while you have your hand on the pulse of whatever your new venture is. Like while you're looking at the crossroads ahead of you and the pathways that have opened up, there's something here about uh, somebody being dealt with in the spirit. And this could manifest as karma in the 3D. Why is this? Yeah, and the Wheel of Fortune has come out whenever I've said that. So there is something here about somebody experiencing some kind of karma or there being some kind of change around this abusive person um, or these abusive people, because I am seeing a few people here. <clears throat> so why do you need to know this? For some of you, before I continue to pull, um, I'm getting something about you thinking that someone got away with something. And that's the reason that you need to know this information because they didn't. Yeah, this person is not protected. Whoever this is that did whatever it is that they've done, their, their spiritual protection has been removed. The Five of Swords fell out on the floor whenever I said that. So there's something about this person. This happened because this person stayed very in their ego. They did not listen to spirit. They did not listen to their own inner guidance. They didn't do what they needed to to overcome the situation. So there's something about this person being in their ego with the way that they take action. Which made you very strong. But there's also something about them being defeated or feeling defeated or trying to do something where they're uh, trying to win at all costs and so their protection has been removed. 
The Eight of Cups and the King of Pentacles are out here. Part of what is showing up is you're being protected from this person, but there's also something, it's like you moved away from them and you're going to be receiving something This could have to do with stability or material gain, or this could be a person coming towards you who um, is very stable or who could be financially stable. And then the Queen of Pentacles has come out. <clears throat> so you and whoever this is, there's some kind of a match here. Um, there's a, a lot of Pentacles energy. The devil is here. So this could have something to do with work. Um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or have that sign somewhere in your chart. But there's something um, like where there's some kind of attachment. Monetarily. So what I'm seeing is part of what this person's karma is, is you are going to be coming into alignment either with someone or something that has to do with your work where you're going to be elevated financially in some way, or there's going to be some... Uh, something that you have that this per person from your past can see, this is part of their karma. So there's something about you receiving an asset or a large sum of money or there's something about um, your stability, whether this is financial or um, emotionally. There's something about them losing something and you having stability, you having the Ten of Pentacles. There's something here about your abundance. And it has to do with, it's like you fought for this. There could be a, a judgment going in your favor regarding some kind of uh, conflict or fight. <clears throat> this is making this point of, this point, what on earth? You could have an appointment coming up for whatever this is. Um, what I was going to say is it's making this person feel very disappointed. Like they missed an opportunity to connect with you or stay in alignment with you to be able to benefit from whatever this is. And so they may decide to try to come back towards you. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Pisces. But if, if this is a past person coming back in, for those of you where this message is resonating, it's like they're coming back in because they're unhappy with whatever it is that they chose to stay stuck to. Um... I'm not seeing somebody coming back towards you because they're sorry or because they have learned some kind of lesson because they're coming out as the hangman in reverse. So it's like they still have that same narrow mindset. And that's what they're manifesting from. So whoever this is, if they are moving in the energy of lack or Some kind of loss. There's something about them manifesting whatever that is. They could also be trying to manifest you. Yeah, and the Two of Cups has come out here in the reverse. On the other side. And then the Queen of Cups is here. So somebody still has some uh, really strong affection for you. They could reach out and send a message. There's something about this person... Um, wanting to hold on to you or wanting to keep you from moving in a new direction. <clears throat> and this has to do with uh, whoever this is, they're wanting to set things up so that they're equally balanced now. They don't want things to be one-sided anymore. Or this person sees that you're moving towards somebody where... The partnership is going to be equal and it's weird because the way that it's showing up is there's something about you and this person this new person um or this new situation is where it's like you're pouring into them and they're pouring into you or whatever it is that you are giving to in this situation it's like you're receiving your worth 
it's reciprocated in the way that it's supposed to be. It's like this person knows that that's what's going to happen. Yeah, and this is your justice. This is karma. This has something to do with balancing something. You could be going through a legal case with this person. This could be somebody who slandered you um, or started some kind of smear campaign. Um, it's like this person is receiving karma in some place that you are unable to see. But there's also something about you receiving what is just and what is correct for you. And this person is wanting to hold you back from that, but they're unable to. They're not able to affect you anymore. You may have this person blocked. Uh, this could be somebody that you have a family with or somebody that you're in some kind of social group with. You could have children with whoever this is. There's something about this person being blocked from emotional fulfillment with you. And they feel sorry for themselves. This person could be sick. There could be something that's happening here. Um, the tower has come out and it fell out sideways. So whatever this is, it's like you may see this coming. It may not be unexpected. It could be something where it's like you knew this person was going to get to a place where they were depressed or where they felt bad for themselves after doing all of this and not getting what they wanted from it. But this person may not have thought that far. <clears throat> yeah, this they never took took into account that um, a plan wouldn't work. And it's completing, the cycle is completing and there's something good coming in for you or there's someone here who loves you or someone... Um, there's something about this being closed and good news coming in for you. And this could be in the form of love or somebody who has feelings for you. For others of you, there's something about all of this happening. And at the very end of this, they feel sorry for, sorry for themselves. Um, they could be in some kind of depressive state. But it's like now the only thing that they have left of you is memories and they could be seeing you differently. But now it's too late because there's boundaries here. These boundaries could have to do um, this is like with everything. So for some of you, if you had a very strong psychic connection with someone, um, that's been severed. If there's been something where... Um, and an example that I'm getting is if you and this person used to be very close and then you thought of them and they called you, whatever that was, that's disconnected now. It's like there's boundaries here everywhere. So this is emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially. There's all of these boundaries. There's something here about a hard block. And... This is causing this person a great deal of pain. That could be the reason that I got the message the first time about um, your ancestors looking in on this person being disappointed and taking some kind of action to where it's like there's karma that's being handed out to this person. And for a lot of you who are not speaking to them, you may wonder, you know, if they got away with whatever it is, like they did something to you and maybe they didn't get what they wanted, but it's also like you felt like they didn't have any kind of just punishment or they didn't have um, something happened to them that was equal to whatever it is that they put you through. And I'm here to tell you that whoever this is, there is something happening to this person. And it's like this is just the tip of the iceberg. Whatever this is, it's like they're feeling sorry for themselves because of the disconnect with you and there's some kind of pain or trauma or something that they're going through now in addition to that and we don't always get to witness karma from people and honestly that's not even something we should be focused on because whoever I'm speaking to it looks like you've got 
Um, you're going from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles to the Empress. So there's something very good coming in for you as far as abundance or um, some kind of ascension or a level up that's that's happening. But it's like there's a full disconnect here. There's something about a full stop. For some of you, I just got a funny message about someone wondering where, what, in what part of the world you are. <laughs> I just heard where in the world is Carmen San Diego. So there's something about this person not even knowing your location. I was getting something about moving. That was one of the first um, things I saw here. Because the Five of Wands came out twice, um, which... Or it was the Two of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Five of Wands. So that's the Ten of Wands. So there could be something here that you're deciding to do, like pick up and move somewhere. And this person may not even know your location. Because you've overcome whatever this is, there's an ending here. And this has to do with divine timing and you listening to your intuition. It's like a divine ending. There's a divine intervention here. Because... Whatever this person was doing in your energy to make you restless or cause um, you the feeling of unease, like they're constantly trying to steal something from you or set you up or doing something to cause a downfall. It's like a lot of whatever this had to do with is something that was also weirdly keeping this person emotionally stable. Like they were getting something out of harassing you or getting something out of um, constantly trying to cause you pain. And now, because you are not there, they're having to rest on their own energy or deal with themselves. Like, deal with, you know, whatever it is that they're doing where they don't have the distraction of harassing you. So, it's like real life is hitting them. And they are having a really uh, bumpy transition whenever it comes to all of this energy that they've sent out. Because it's going back to them. This isn't something where they received a wish fulfillment. Um, for some of you, they could be realizing how selfish they have behaved. Not for a lot of you, but there is something here about that. Um, let's see. Yeah, and depression just came out. So that's what I'm seeing. There's some, somebody here who is going through depression. And it's like this is the first part of whatever it is that they're having to deal with. Um, because there's something that's over here. Whatever this is, it's done. It's over and done. And they are... It's like... They did this like it was a game. Or they did this like this was funny. Or they did something where they were constantly focused on something to do with you and they didn't get to a place where they ever check their ego so the divine is doing that this says keeping you a secret and divorce breaking contracts so someone could be keeping what they're upset about or there could be somebody that they're in some kind of a connection with where they see that this person is depressed and they are not sharing with them that they're upset over you or they're upset over um, this ending or they're upset over a divorce for some of you. There's something about this person trying to keep this to themselves. But I'm getting that this is evident. This is something that people can see. They can see that this person is falling apart. Um, this is falling into pieces. So, um, I guess for whoever's reading this is, if you were wondering what's going on with them, and this is for those of you who are not speaking to this person, or they're blocked, or there's no communication between you and them, they're going through a period of depression because of the separation, and a lot of this does have to do with because they don't have you to harass anymore or to bother anymore or to continue to um whatever it is that they were doing <clears throat> and this person's really in their feelings this person could also be getting cheated on 
Um, so there's something about something happened to someone like in two forms. They could be very angry at this time. There's something about this person being tormented because of their bad choices. And I'm getting something to do with your ancestors or something to do with decisions that they have made that it's like now they're they are reaping whatever it is that they've sown. <clears throat> this says pregnancy test, um, unsure, pregnancy scare, positive, negative. So um, they could be worried that they've gotten someone pregnant or there could be someone in their energy or this could be... This could be you. Uh, with the Empress out here and then pregnancy tests, some of you could be having a child. For others of you, this person is worried about a decision that they've made and they could have accidentally gotten someone pregnant. This could be part of whatever these bad choices are. This could be because they, they are worried about getting somebody pregnant that they maybe cheated with or there's yeah there's something uh, about a private relationship so whoever this is could be it's like they're getting it from different um forms so they're they're upset about you they're upset about something that they've done they're upset about something that they're going through in a current relationship or in a current choice that they've made Is there anything else from this deck? It says fake apology. So part of the reason that this energy is coming out is because this person could try to come towards you to apologize. I'm not getting that this is a sincere apology. <laughs> There's something about this person being trash or um, it says promiscuous, sleeps around, a hot mess, free for all, sleeps with your man. So... For some of you, this person is coming towards you because something has happened to them in a relationship that they're currently in. And so they're wanting to put on some kind of a show to get your attention because they're feeling insecure about whatever it is that they're going through. And it, it looks like it's happening from something you can see and something that has to do with you and for others of you it's something that you cannot see and whatever it is that has to do with you so let's see show me the advice This says insane chemistry like each other, equally having fun. So you're being advised right now to have fun. Um, pay attention to the things that you have passion for. Pour yourself into things that make sense for you, that um, ignite creativity within you. This says date, meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan a date. So some of you could have somebody new coming in. Um, this could be... A brand new partner or there could be something here about um, somebody that you have a lot of chemistry with that's coming in this says sabotage rebuilding interrogation repetitive persistent working on it um this person could be wanting to come in to your space because they may be wanting to sabotage something that they have going on like this is part of this person's pattern um, they could, for others of you this person could see that you're dating new people and they could be trying to sabotage those connections This says not showing true feelings, hide personality, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. So um, for someone, this person is going to come towards you and they're not going to apologize. They're just going, going to try to gaslight you into a conversation. Um, 
Is this? Who is this? Because of all these things that they have going on in their in their energy that's making them insecure. Is there anything else for the advice? Yeah, just heal from this person. Um, it says healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addiction. So focus on yourself. Continue to walk your healing path. Do whatever it is that you need to do to continue to move forward and pour into yourself so that you can um, focus on creative projects or focus on you know, new people if that's something that you're interested in. I know not everybody's interested in dating at this time, but it's like whatever it is that you're doing, you need to know that Pouring into you is going to result, it's going to give you the best results as far as um, creating new things or having new experiences. You're supposed to be focused on focusing on having fun right now and by whatever means that is. So take yourself on a date. Go do something that you haven't done before. You know, you don't need to, to do this with anyone. Just if there's some experience you want to have, um like something you've always wanted to do, look into doing that. Plan a date for yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and end this reading here. I hope this message was helpful. Thank you.